Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this is Games and Graphics. We're back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing the latest Open 4. Just had an update um, not too long ago. So we are going to be installing Open 4 3.2. All right. There will be a link down in the description that will lead you straight here to um, the down to the website of Open 4 where we can download it. What you want to do when you get here is select this green button that says download now open for or open iv 3.2 okay so you want to select that once you select that um, browser window is going to pop up and it's going to ask you where would you like to uh, save this file at so go ahead and pick where on your pc you would like to save this file at and after you have open for downloaded it's going to look something like this inside this folder i have this file right here that I just downloaded from Open4. So when you first download it, it's going to say OVI Setup, okay? And it's going to be a pretty much a little setup package. What you want to do is just double click on it. It's going to open up this window right here. It's going to ask for you to choose your language. Go ahead and choose your language and select continue. All right. Then uh, you're going to have a uh, terms of agreement type of thing pop up right here. Feel free to read that. And when you're done reading, check this, I accept the terms of this agreement. Make sure you check that box and then select continue. After you select continue, you will have uh, this area where you get to choose where you want this to be installed on your computer. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave the information. Uh, I'm going to leave what's checked already checked. Pretty much this one is going to be installed. Uh, open for to this computer and I want this installed to this computer and then we have install options uh, the first box is already checked which is create desktop icon that's what I want and you could also check the next box which is run open for after installation all right I'm gonna uncheck that box because I'm going to run it myself all right underneath that is the installation path this is where you could choose where you would like your open for files stored at on your computer okay um, by default, it's automatically going to be on your C drive, users, and the name of, you know, uh, whatever your name is, and app data, local, and so forth and so on, okay? So this is the default path. I'm going to leave it right here. If you want to put it somewhere else, feel free to change the path right here, okay? And they also have an option where you can download the Open4 for installation on a separate computer, all right? If you know about things like that, then feel free to do that. But for this installation, we are going to be doing what I have checked right here, okay? So you want to make sure that you have install Open4 to this computer. You want to make sure you have this circle highlighted and make sure that you have create desktop icon checked, okay? And let's go ahead and select continue. Once you select continue, another little window will pop up. It will say download size 25.3 MB. Do you want to continue? Select yes. Now what you want to do is just give it some time to download into your computer. All right, after it is done installing it to your computer, it will say installation of Open4 has been completed successfully, okay? So when you see that message, go ahead and click close at the bottom. All right, now we can minimize this window right here. And if you look on your desktop, you will see a icon that says Open4 or Open IV. I'll call it Open4 because it looks like Roman numerals to me, all right? so. We're going to open up our open four by double clicking on the icon. Now, if this is your first time double clicking on the icon, um, this window is going to pop up first of all. All right. And it is going to have other games as well that you could use open four for. All right. So um, if you had episodes from Liberty City, you could use open four for Grand Theft Auto four and for Max Payne 3, okay? So for this tutorial, we are going to be um, selecting Grand Theft Auto 5 and select Windows, okay? Once you select that, th if this is your first time installing Open 4, you are going to get this window right here. This window will ask, choose Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, okay? You will have to click Browse button. A browser window will pop up and it wants you to find your Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Um, more than likely, um, yours will probably be on your C drive and you will have to, uh, let's see, 
let's go click on C drive let's program files 86 I think it is and then you want to find Steam for Steam users or find Rockstar Games for retail users you know the people that bought uh, GTA 5 straight from Rockstar all right so um, if you found if you bought it in Steam then you go in Steam once in Steam I'm gonna go down to Steam apps common and then here you will find your game if it's in the C drive okay so I'm gonna go ahead and locate mines and D Steam library Steam apps common and Grand Theft Auto 5 once you have selected the game folder you will see down here it will say Grand Theft Auto 5 and that's what you want you want to have the game folder name down here where it says folder once that is selected select select folder then you will see you should see a green um, you should see a message in green saying successfully GTA 5.exe version whatever version of the game is and it will say open 4 can work with this file okay now if you have um, uh, if things did not work then this will not be green and it will let you know that open 4 cannot work with this file okay so make sure you receive this green message right here once you do go ahead and click continue right here with the arrow all right and it's also saying backups do not forget to back up your original files before editing all right let's go ahead and click continue we don't have to worry about the backup because we will be making a mods folder okay if you don't have a mods folder you can go ahead open up your um, GTA 5 files and go ahead and create a mods folder I already have one so I'm going to show you what happens when open for first opens up we are going to have to open up our um, ASI manager or install our ASI manager all right so what we want to do is go to um, tools you want to click on tools and then select ASI manager all right so this window is going to pop up right here okay if this window doesn't pop up as soon as you open up open 4 then you want to go to tools and then select ASI manager and then this window will pop up what we need to have here is have all of these saying installed okay so all of these three columns need to be green okay so let's go to the ones that are not green like uh, this one right here this is not installed if this one says not installed for you as well then start with this one okay but I already have the ASI loader inside so that is installed I'm gonna go down to the next one and select install once you select install it's going to turn green and it's going to say installed let's go down to the next one where it says open camera select install and it's going to turn green and say installed once you have all three installed and all three are green go ahead and select close from this point forward right here you are able to go ahead and edit your um, your files inside GTA okay now before you edit any files it's always important that you select this edit mode and turn the edit mode on okay if you look right now the edit mode is not on now if I select edit mode like now then a little box will pop up saying warning you are in editing mode while in editing mode all changes will automatically save do you want to continue select yes once you select yes if you look back up at the edit mode button it is highlighted blue that's how you know that the edit mode is on so always make sure that the edit mode is on before you edit any files okay and also um, once you start your ASI manager the ASI manager that we were in right here if you had all three of these blue and you had none of these installed and you start to install these they will add they will um, create a mods folder for you okay so when you're done uh, with the ASI manager window it will create a mods folder if you don't have one already okay so if you don't have one it's going to create a mods folder for you all right now each file that you see on the left column right here as you can see every time I click on one of these archives it is a red banner at the top and the red banner at the top is letting you know that the archive you are currently editing is not located in mods folder 
and it will give you two options it will say copy to mods folder or change mods folder settings okay you always want to select copy to mods folder okay that is the only option that you really want to select is copy to mods folder once you take this and then copy it to mods folder i'm going to select copy to mods folder right now and you will see a bar right now saying it's copying the file or the archive to my mods folder we always want to make sure we copy it to the mods folder before we edit the file okay now let's go ahead and go into um, this file right here which is levels that is inside the archive that we moved into my mods folder now if you look in the top part of the address you will see that it says mods folder and then you will see the archive that we just copied to the mods folder and as i'm opening files we are in the levels folder and in gta 5 folder and now we have um, some other archives inside of this archive right here. Each one of these archives on the left side have different materials and different components, different everything for the game. So um, there will be a, uh, a large list of things that you can edit inside of the game files. But always remember to copy those files or those archives to your mods folder before you edit anything. Okay. When we copy... Um, when we copy any archive or files to our mods folder that automatically creates a backup okay what i mean is just in case we mess up modifying any files all we have to do is go inside of our mods folder and we could delete any file or archive that we had edited and then we could go ahead and find the archive again and copy it to our mods folder and edit it again okay so that's how we create backups all right so it's always better that you go to any archive copy it straight to your mods folder and then begin your editing okay all right, so this is gonna be a simple installation of Open4 right here. Just want to make a updated uh, video for Open4 since they just came out with an update recently. And um, if this helped you out to install it or if you enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2 or any game of the fact that matter. This is Games and Graphics. I am out of here till next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.